Andres is creating mixed media works that are truly phenomenal. You have to come, see it, touch it, play with it, and feel them. And then you have a close relationship with them. They're neon wall relief sculpture, some of which respond to noise as does this one. It will respond to my voice or footsteps or music in the room. Others are stationary in their, in their color mode. Uh, most, however, change. Just use them uh, uh, different combinations of uh, LED. I drive a lot, uh, around a lot. I follow cars and I always see what the lines uh, and the cars produce. Actually, these are uh, rare indicators of cars. The plastic and our thought, when not using them in a different way, I'm sure they can be done, because some, some of them they're just gorgeous. And then, well, I just uh, did some research, I found the raw material, I meld them together, and this is what it is. Comes with a uh, remote control, so you can control the speed of uh, the color change, as well as the colors themselves. They're truly remarkable works. I, I think that everyone who has seen them has really fallen in love and is mystified by this technique. Well, that uh, comes from uh, my great-grandfather. Uh, he was also an artist. He was producing church organs. And he was very clever and very, very uh, handy. He used to play a lot of instruments. He used to create new things, just starting from nothing. First thing I get is uh, pleasure. In my uh, normal life, it's quite busy and quite... Uh, and, and doing all that, that really releases me. It gives me air. I think just a couple of years ago, I realized that I was uh, old enough and mature enough to start doing these kind of things. Well, I've not seen anything quite like these works of art. They're really fascinating. This is always a big game. This is always, if uh, in the process of, uh, of creation, just what is very important is that, that, that you feel free just to do anything you want. You know? And this is what I dream of. Andre's mixed media works can be seen at Agora Gallery, 530 West 25th Street, in the heart of Chelsea, until February 7th or online at artmine.com.